What's up, Scrappy Peeps? It's Adele from Inky Quill, and I'm here with a bit of a random Project Life concoction for you today. So I'm going through my little container of cards. Yes, there it is. And I'd already, when I printed off the photos for this, I went through my Southern Weddings um, Project Life core kit, which I have left over from my wedding album. And there was that husband and wife in the bottom right-hand corner, and I knew that it just went with the colours really well with this. And I liked the, it has like a leafy wreathy type thing like a leaf wreath that's hard to say leaf wreath oh that's tricky say that five times fast if you've had a little bit of a drinky poo leaf wreath leaf wreath leaf no it doesn't work um so here i'm just cutting off that because i really don't like curved corners i don't if something has curved corners and i want to use it i'll use it but if i can chop them off then i more than happy to chop them off so I decided I wanted I do this quite a complicated way which would have been a, I could have done it a lot more simpler um, I grabbed some floral washi from my planner society kit from a little while ago then I attached some tape to that bit of the card that I chopped off and it just I just did it a bit of a complicated way really so I took all the tape off and then decided that I wanted washi up the top as well so I held it up while I slipped the washi behind I just could have done it an easier way but I just felt like that washi just gave it a bit more of a different texture between the two flat cards and that backing paper is from crepe paper confetti six by six paper pad and I just have in my little box of project life cards on my desk I do have some papers that I have chopped down from scraps um, and yeah I just find them really handy for little filler cards like this I usually use them for because they are just a plain pattern um, and there's quite often not enough space to journal on them so adding or oh, when I had a bit of a fight with my fine line bottle I have if my haul goes up before this if it doesn't I have finally got the scotch quick dry tacky glue stuff that all of you lovely American ladies use and every time you use it I go oh I really want it um, I couldn't find it in Australia so I got my girl Peter from scrapbooking from scratch to get it in for me and I love it um, and I'm put it in a fine line bottle so that it's easier to apply adding that little I think it says oh shake 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 your hearty shine shake your hearty shine shaking my hearty shine bottle and adding a little bit of doodling around the outside before I hearty shine because otherwise my pen will go through the hearty shine and pen will work no more so it's always good if you're going to do your hearty shine to leave it as the last layer plus it takes an age to dry and the good thing is if you're quick you can just kind of smush it and they disappear <laughs> and this one's done so next this is a photo of our bestie Rowan and I and I decided this card was from the planner society and I think it's meant to be used like in your planner it's really thick and I didn't like the saying on it I didn't need to saw or leap or whatever it was leap and saw didn't need to do that so I decided to cover it up with a little bit of extra paper that I had and cut down this photo Rowan was one of the groomsmen and so um, I forced him to take a photo with me after he had been taking all of the bridal party photos and you can see it in his eyeballs he's thinking Adele you're lucky that I love you and I'm letting you take this photo because I think he was done with photos at that point <laughs> so I'm just stapling this little today the tricky thing with acetate um, embellishment pieces is that they don't like glue very much you can see it through them so I always try to staple them where I can and this little container is just random embellishments that haven't found their home it's like in a sad way it's a bit like an embellishment orphanage but it's happy because they find homes really quickly so it's a, it's a happy little it's a happy little space to be if you're an embellishment believe me if you're an embellishment in my stash you're much more likely to find a home and get used up if you're in this container rather than in the color coordinated containers that I spent a lot of time color coordinating but they're down the bottom of my desk and I just rarely reach for them uh, so it's much better if you're in this container adding some little words now these are from studio calico and they really frustrate me because they're cut apart and well they're perforated but they don't perforate nicely um, and I really really dislike them they came in a kit so I'm going to use them as much as I can and then there's a lot of phrases that I just won't use on there about um, 
I think there's like graduation and anniversary and house guest and these ones that I just probably won't think of using and the chances of me using them in an everyday layout, layout are pretty slim. So what I'm going to do is I'll probably give them another month in the stash before they get the ones that I'll use get cut up and put in my little um, embellishment container and the others go into my art journaling collage area because I don't mind what words go into the background to make some texture for that one. So here that little floral wheelbarrow was from the Planner Society and I didn't really like it. So I just I just didn't like the wheelbarrow part of it. Um, loved the floral but didn't like the wheelbarrow. So I chopped off the wheelbarrow part and just kind of used it as a um, overhanging embellishment to the side, chopped it off. So when you decide which photos you're going to embellish and which ones you're not, have a look at the composition of the photo. So this one, you can see my friend Kelly and I, we're to the left of the photo and there's a big space over on the right. So I knew this was definitely a photo that I wanted to embellish because it looked a bit funny without anything on there. It looked a bit lopsided. And so that little love you is from a past Scraptastic kit and adding a tiny little heart. Someone asked me before where I get my glitter hearts from. I actually punched them myself just from some glitter paper. And I have a million of them thanks to Sarah because she let me borrow her Martha Stewart heart punch, which is gorgeous. And uh, they, should, they should see me out for a little bit longer. <laughs> but it's nice just to have things like that at the ready because then you don't have to waste time by finding your paper, finding your gold punch. No, that's wrong. Finding your gold paper, finding your heart punch, punching the heart, losing the heart because you punched it so small and it went on a little adventure by itself, repunching the, re the heart shape, then finding the first heart again, then you've got two hearts, then you realise two is an odd number an even number and you like odd numbers of things so then you punch a third heart and the cycle just goes on and on well it does for me maybe that was just a bit of a scrap therapy session <laughs> that I just had on live on camera maybe that could be a new series scrap therapy oh I like that let me know in the comments below if you like this idea so I'm thinking of taking a concern that us scrappers have and turning it into a focus for a layout and maybe maybe doing one every like maybe one a month we can have a scrap therapy session once a month and I can pick something that a lot of us worry about or a lot of us you know have issues with um, and I can do a layout and then we can have a bit of a chat in the comments about how we people how people um, get over that hurdle yeah i really like this idea i'm pumped now let me know in the comments below some ideas for scrap therapy um so it could be such as having too much paper and not enough time that might be one it could be oh what about using your scraps so what to do with all of those scraps let me know an issue or a problem that you have in scrapbooking and i'll start a new series of scrap therapy what do you think aaron Sounds good. Yeah, you like that? Yeah. Mm, maybe Aaron can help in too. Let me know in the comments below if you would like a Dr. and Dr. Rad episode of Scrap Therapy. <laughs> so here I've just blabbed all over this, but I just add a couple of different washi tapes and a little label and I'm done. So this didn't take very long. So I only twice speeded this one. So it only took me 16 minutes about and it was already finished. So you can see that I've got five photos there with no embellishments. That's why it didn't take too long. And look at that thing on Rowan's nose. What is that? It looks like he's smoking out his nose. <laughs> Luckily it was on the outside though. So that went away. But always check your stuff before you photograph them because I could have photographed that very, very easily. So let me know if you like the idea for scrap therapy series, maybe on like the first of every month. So that way you know it's coming, no matter what the day is. If it's a double video day, then it's a double video day. Um, don't don't mock this idea, Aaron. No, I'm not. Aaron's over there just double smirking video in the day. back. It's, yeah, it sounds weird. <laughs> You sound weird. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm all finished and I'll see you tomorrow. Give it a likey if you liked it, if you liked it. And please let me know if you like the scrap therapy idea and give me some ideas. Bye. Bye.